Hey, I'm Chuck, the contractor. I'm the guy who helps contractors get leads and make more sales. And today I'm going to talk to you about how big of an opportunity there is in the pest control niche for doing some simple marketing and getting tons of customers. We have a few clients that do pest control now. You know, this is a new niche for us in, in the last year. It's just turned out to be a really easy niche to market for because the competition is so low and the demand so high. So like everything in business and in, in any market is supply and demand. The demand for pest control is really high. It's consistent. There's critters running around everywhere. Like people don't want them on their property, in their house, etc. And as a whole, the the companies or the providers, the supply, they aren't very sophisticated at marketing. So when we go in and we just do basic stuff, like set up a good website, get on Google, get reviews, we see like really crazy results. So when somebody somebody has like uh, needs pest control or they've got raccoons and they look up wildlife control near me, they go to Google, they search for what they're looking for. Usually they'll see some ads, but they'll always see the Google Maps box right here. And you can see that the three companies Google's showing me have 11, five, and one review. So when I, I do these searches all the time for markets across the country, and when I see companies that have single digit numbers of reviews, I know that the area is not super competitive because Google's doing their best to show me the best search results. So if Google thinks the best search result has one review, that tells me that if I can come in here with a wildlife control company and have 15 reviews, I would be beating all of these guys right off the bat. It's it's all about beating our competition, being better suppliers than everyone else and getting more of the demand, meaning getting more of the customers. And so we've, we've have a few clients now doing pest control, wildlife control. We do the basic stuff for them. We build a good website. We get them on Google Maps. We uh, build out their online presence just in a really fundamental level. And the results are pretty incredible. So what we're, what this map is showing us is if I go back to this Google search, Google showed me this little Google Maps box and we've got three companies, position one, two, and three. And if I click more places, we'll see a whole bunch more and there'll be a list of 20 plus of these guys. And so if we go to this map, we can see positions one, two, and three. And what this is showing us is if I was to do a search for animal control from each one of these spots, it's showing me how well this particular Google listing is ranking. And so in all of these ones, it's ranking number one and all the twos, it's ranking number two. And what we're really going for is to be a one, two or three, because if we are, then we're showing up right here and we're competing off the number of reviews. So if we can have more reviews than the other companies showing up, the other two companies, then we're going to get more calls than them. And that's going to be a really good source of new customers. So this map, what this map is showing us is where they're ranking in the top three. And this is a super huge area. This is Indianapolis. So this is a pretty big service area. And we, we did the basic stuff. We built the website. We got this company on Google. He got a handful of reviews. And all of a sudden, he started getting a ton of calls in this area. And after that, he was like, well, how do we expand into Indianapolis? And because of the nature of Google Maps, Google Maps works off of proximity. So the closer that someone is to you, the more likely you are to show up. And if you think about it, it makes sense. Google is trying to show people companies that are close to them that can give them what they're looking for. And so if somebody is on the other side of Indianapolis and they search for a service that this company provides over on the other side of Indiana Indianapolis, there's probably 50 other options for Google to show between that person and this company. So why would Google ever show this company? They wouldn't. And so if you want to get seen by people on the other side of a big city, the only way is to have a Google listing over in that part of the city. And so that's what we did. We created a listing right in the center of the city. And this enabled this company to start getting calls in the city. And 
if I look, let's see. It looks like last month this client got about 170 leads from both listings combined. And I think the one in the middle of Indianapolis is the one that got 107 calls. Or no, I'm mistaken. It was 53 calls from the Indianapolis listing, 30 from the the out of town listing, and then the rest of those were contact forms. So yeah, this is these are snapshots of this this guy's Google listing. So this one on the bottom is the the listing that's outside of town. That would be this one. And I can tell because that one's been around longer. And so, you know, you can see it's been getting about 30 calls a month. Last month, June, it got 30. And then this is the new listing. We just started it in March. You can see April, it looks like it got about 10 calls. May, it was up around 50. June, around 50, 53. The rest of, he got some like 170 leads last month. And the rest of them were all coming from contact forms through his website. So this is a company, this this is a brand new company as of uh, February of this year. Uh, this guy was working for someone else. He started his own thing. Now he's, his uh, business is taking off. And it was all from really basic marketing techniques, like just getting on Google, having a website, having a Google listing, getting reviews. That's all, that's all you really have to do. And so the whole reason I'm making this video is because there's a lot of companies, there's a lot of people out there in this niche doing pest control, doing wildlife control. And there's just a huge opportunity for you to do some basic things, get on Google, get some reviews and really grow your business and get a foothold in this before the rest of your industry catches up. Because I come from the remodeling industry. We were figuring this stuff out 10 years ago and now it's really competitive. And so for a lot of companies just getting started with this stuff now, it's it's um, it's a big task trying to catch up with the competition. But in the pest control and wildlife control niche, there's just not a lot of competition. So now's the time to get on top of this stuff, get a good website, get a Google business listing, and get as many reviews as you can. And you'll be able to blow your company up and really get a good foothold in your market before your competition figures it out. So if you're a pest control company and you're wondering how this will work for you, click the link in the description below and talk to us.